grudge. It's the English translation of the Juon, which is the Japanese concept that spurred the entire series, and it's a vengeful spirit. When somebody dies in a fit of rage and their death is unjust and unresolved, then their spirit will remain in that place and terrorize the people. Nick Pesci, he's a very smart guy. Action! Start coming up. This is his own script and that helps. It helps a lot. He has a mission that is very, very clear to tell this story the best way possible. It was so interesting for me to make The Grudge right now because I ran into this great filmmaker, Nick Pesci, and I thought he'd be a great captain to take us forward in the next episode of The Grudge. Right off the bat, the first scene of the movie is riddled with nods to the old movies. I love working with Nick so far. I think he's fantastic. Mrs. Math. Ah! <laughs> There's something muted but aggressive about these designs. It's fascinating. It intrigues me and sort of delights me, actually, that they can do all this. It's a world that's so real, but underlying it all is this disturbing filmmaking style that just leaves your skin crawling for days. The story takes place with three distinct groups of characters in different time periods. Our house is grudge. Because there's an underlying mystery at the heart of the film, we wanted it to be a gradual reveal, both to the audience and to the characters, as they encounter the grudge, and they are getting sucked into this world that they are seeing ghosts. We were able to like up the intensity of the scares and the gore, but I also think that we were able to sort of lean into a way more human drama. 